Hello and welcome to the No No Game Show. Where any similarities to the show I'm um, actually are intentional and credited. Before we get started, let's meet our contestants. First up, Liara's one and only son with pointy ears and sharp teeth, Tiz. Hello. <laughs> Uh, the member that lost a coin toss to be stuck with Tiz and Plod today, Geo. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it took some work, took some work. <laughs> and then one of the few new members that doesn't look like a Muppet, Plod. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is kind of new for you guys. We're doing the practice round right now, so we're going to do some of the rules here. Um, I'll be making a series of statements about things that we know and love, maybe a few things that you don't know anything about. Uh, if at any time you notice a mistake, you can step on your buzzer and wait to be called on. You will then correct me by first saying no, no, and then clearing up the mistake. If you are wrong or lacking any details, uh, uh, or it's like lacking in details, uh, one of the other contestants can step on their buzzers and attempt to correct the mistake in full. That was a lot. Any questions? No. no, no. Think I'm good? No. <laughs> All right. The first question today is semi-Minecraft related. Andesite, Diorite, and Granite were all introduced to Minecraft in 2014. In real life, they may be different in appearance from each other, but they share many of the same qualities. They can be found near volcanoes. They are sedimentary and tend to have a spotted appearance due to the various minerals that make them up. Any guesses? There's going to be something in there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I should know this one. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, they are not sedimentary. Uh, th okay, that is that is good. Do you have any more details there? Actually, um, actually, before you continue, before you give it away, you did not start your, your, your uh, statement correctly. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is the first question. I'll let you continue. But yeah, continue with no, no. No, no. I um I, I don't think they're sedimentary. Uh, they are all actually the same, apart from granite. They're all the uh, andesite and diorite, the same block. They just have uh -huh. different amounts of the crystals inside them. Okay. Um, but they're mostly superheated rocks that um are more volcanic in origin than sedimentary in origin. That is an excellent, full, detailed answer <laughs> without the final result that we're looking for. <laughs> Why don't you step on back and let's see if somebody else will take a guess. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh no. You mentioned volcanoes, but there's no such thing as volcanoes in Minecraft. Really? Well, that's true. That's, 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 no that's, <laughs> that's true. I, I guess I was making comparison. It's a comparison to the real life version of those blocks or those, those rocks. They could be found in volcanoes. I'll give the point to Geol unless anybody knows what kind of rock they actually are that's not sedimentary. Oh. Wait, you no, already no. had the point. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's, it's good to be right. It's good to be right. If you really want to show us your your brains, and go for Fine. it. I'll let I'll let one of them try. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Ig what other types of rocks they're, are there? They're, they're an igneous rock. Uh, 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 anybody? Oh, you you guys are all so polite. I would have jumped right in if you had jumped in and said no, no igneous. I'd have given it to you. I guess we'll give the point to Geo. <laughs> <laughs> You're all far too polite. I tried to give them the answer and everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there is your point. Nice. Okay. Well, all right. Now you guys understand how this thing works. There's no reason to be polite if you can uh, if you can win by uh, saying no, no when the other person didn't, or if you can steal the answer, go for it. All right. Oh, okay. That's a tremendous thing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the Fallout games are full of real-life locations, like the town of Bethesda, Maryland, in Fallout 3. In a fun nod to the location the game was created, the ruins are separated into three parts. The North Offices, the South Offices, and the Underworks. This is a tease yeah. question. Yeah, I've, I've got no clue. No? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, not, this, not this is where the guessing comes in. If you can figure out which part is wrong, you still get the point. Yes. No, no, no. It's the under thingy that you said. The, the Underworks I, I is remember. part of, that's is one of the three. Yes. So but that's, that's, that's what I said. <laughs> so, is that wrong? I don't know if that's wrong. Gonna, so Underworks under. is correct. The Underworks oh. is one of the three locations. Yes, yes. 
No, no, it's the other two. So it's not north and south, it's east and west. That is correct! Yes. <laughs> it's east and west, not north and south. See, guessing pays off. Guessing pays off. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tiz, you should know that. You want to know where I got that from? From uh, the Discord, whenever you talked about how cool that feature was. <laughs> yeah, hang your head in shame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's move away uh, from games for a minute. Uh, in 2024, the movie Mean Girls was released to be a new sequel to the 2004 original, despite there already being a Mean Girls 2 in 2011. What is it? It's going to be the year? I think, um, I, think I hear um, the grinds burning, actually. What's going on? Um, <laughs> oh, yep, yep. What do you got there, Plod? Uh, no, no, Mean Girls 2 was in 2010? Uh, no, it, it, it was in 2011. Yep, yep. Okay. Yes? No, no, there is no new movie coming out? There is, yeah, actually. I think it already oh. came out, I believe, this year. Take a swing there, Tiz. Take, take a swing Me? for it. Yeah, 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 yeah anything. I'm comfy in my chair, okay? Are you comfy in your chair? <laughs> I have no idea about the, this movie. All right, all right. No, okay. If there's no further guesses, I'll I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, the new movie is based on the musical, not on the previous movie. Oh, a little, be, being a little that pedantic. Was a, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. I like to, I like I like to throw some hard ones in there. Yeah. All right. Uh, now is the time for our first visual question. So uh, the curtain on your left is going to be a visual question. What I have back there are five pictures. And you'll be placing them in a certain order based on what I tell you. So I will tell you the topic, and the first person who thinks that they want to give a go at that topic can run forward and give it a go. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, the topic is Star Wars. Oh, plot going in there fast. All right, all right. We will drop the curtain. Before you are five lightsabers. Uh, they appeared in the movie in certain order. Just, we're just talking about the movies, not the cartoons and the, and the novels and all that kind of stuff. But in the movies, they each appeared in a certain order starting in 1977 to today. Rearrange the numbers, not the pictures, but rearrange the numbers to uh, reorder those in the correct order they came out in the movies. Go for it. Yeah, I'm the my Right. Uh, so that was fairly recent because that was in the prequel. Is that? Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, blue one was definitely first. Take it like that. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah. So uh, just a reminder, we're not going uh, order of uh, episode one through nine. We're going from order that they came out. And so yeah. four, five, and six would come out before one, two, and three. So blue, de blue and green. Yep. It's blue. Blue was the first lightsaber we saw. Okay. Uh, that one's interesting. That's That's got to be new. <laughs> if he gets it wrong, then you guys can get a chance. So keep an eye on what's going on. I was trying to work out. Is that Darth Vader's or is that Darth Maul's? Uh, we're just talking about color. Yeah, color, Maul's. not style yeah, of lightsaber. Just, just color. color. Okay. In that case, that was in the first movie as well. Because that was in Star Wars. Green was Return of the Jedi. I think that's one of the prequels and that's one of the sequels. But yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. Okay, all right. I can say that you have two correct. Hi. Let's talk for a second. Uh, so apparently I mixed up Darth Vader's entrance in Rogue One with his lightsaber blazing with his entrance in A New Hope where he just walks through the door. I know I royally messed this up. I am so, so sorry. I'll try to do better with my fact checking, but there's a lot of questions for me to fact check. So, sorry, I know, I made a mistake. We'll, we'll try to do better. <laughs> All right, let's move on. How about, how about I give a point to both Plod and Tiz for getting close with three? Hey, I'll take it. We'll do that, we'll do it. that. And there we go. Everybody has their points now. Okay, Thanks. great. Uh, you you got through the first visual question. It makes me a little scared for the second one, but we'll continue on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, here's here's kind of a fun one. Uh, this may also require a little bit of guessing. Uh, in the trailer for the Nether update, remember those, those animated trailers that Minecraft likes to put out? 
Steve and Alex yeah. made several mistakes. Like, like entering the nether without armor, which I guess that's arguable, but yeah. Uh, creating a respawn anchor death loop and offering a piglin a mushroom instead of gold. Yes? There was no death loop? There was a death loop. They put down a respawn anchor right in a hostile spot and basically kept dying right back to the same location over and over. Yes. They offered diamonds instead of gold? Uh, you're circling the right thing, but it wasn't diamonds, no. Yes? No, no, it wasn't a mushroom. Okay, well, first of all, you said no, no, so there you go. But oh, it, yeah. and and that is correct. If anybody can tell me what it was, you'll you can steal the point. Go oh, back away, back away, back away. You mean, you mean, Yes. No, no, it was emeralds. Nope, it wasn't emeralds. Oh. All right, Tiz, you want to make a guess? I'm gonna give the point to Geo. Uh, I have no idea. No idea. No. All right. It was rotten flesh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time. It was a long time ago. That was a, that is a while back, yeah. Believe me, that's not the oldest question I have going here. Oh, maybe not today, but uh, I do have some here. Okay. Any uh, <clears throat> any sports fans among you? Nope. Yeah, nope. It depends, depends on the sport. Oh, this, yeah, is good. this, this, is, this is going to be dodgy. All right. Hockey. <laughs> No, yeah, not no, a no. Clue. no. <laughs> is, is this American or British? <laughs> uh, it's all well. I mean, any any any, mm. any nation that plays hockey. We're gonna ask this one anyways because uh, it'll be fun. Okay, uh, if the puck crosses the two red lines without scoring or being touched, the referee will whistle the icing infraction and play is stopped. Since there's no hockey fans here, if you just guess the air the thing that is wrong in it, you have to know the correct answer. Yes, deal. No, no, it's not two red lines. It is two red lines. That that, that is actually correct. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got no clue. No, you want to get no guesses, really? Okay, I'll admit this one's really kind of pedantic, and since there's no hockey fans among you, then that may be the problem. <laughs> it, I have no clue. Okay, it's not a referee. It's a linesman. The referee oh, isn't involved wow. in this okay, particular okay. call. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know that was a hard one. <laughs> Even if you're a hockey fan, you probably would, because there is a referee, but he doesn't call this call. It's the linesman that calls it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I, I should have known better than to have, like, a, a, a hockey question for, like, a bunch of Minecrafters. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the obscure stuff. It's good. Yeah. I've learned something anyway. Yeah, okay, exactly. Learned something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, for next time you have a hockey conversation, yeah, you'll you'll have something to contribute. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah, really some time in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the world of Minecraft. Okay. A popular bug in Minecraft was the immortal dog glitch. By hitting a dog nine times with an item dispensing splash potions of poison and healing, and then sometimes logging out and back in, you will have a dog that can't be killed by normal means. Yes! Oh no, I think most of that is right, so I'm going to guess it's not nine times that you hit it. It must be a different number. So I guess it depends on what level health your animal is at, but if it's at full, then nine hits with an with a item is actually the correct number of hits. Yes, so... Uh, yeah, not a clue. Yes, yeah? No, no, you don't use a splash potion? Uh, it is a splash potion, yes. There's actually, so uh, so in the question, I'll, I'll repeat that part. Uh, mm -hmm. You just spent splash potions of poison and healing. Oh, there we go, yes. I think maybe the potions are wrong. So maybe it's not a poison potion, but a farming potion? Is that that is it, that is it. But yeah, yeah. Um, did you say no, no? No, he didn't. But. <laughs> he went, oh no. He no. said, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Oh no, you, <laughs> you slid in there with your oh no. I'll give you that point. I'll give you that point. <laughs> all right. Uh, Carry On Cleo, one of the most popular movies from the Carry On movie franchise, saw Mark Antony unable to get milk for his tea due to Cleo using it to feed her cats. And, uh, and oh, oh, right away. That was fast. What's up? You got it? Yeah, she used a lot of milk in her bath. I think that's in why was her shortage. bath. But guess what? That's not the right answer. Oh, I didn't say no, no. I didn't say no, no. <laughs> oh yes, tears for the steal. <laughs> I I forgot what he said. 
Oh, oh, I, you know what? I'm gonna have to go it's, it, with Jill at this one since she hasn't had a chance to guess yet. <laughs> no, no, milk was for the bath, not the cat. Yes, very good. Milk was for the bath. Great job. Oh, I feel like <laughs> yeah, I stole that one. I forgot what he said. Steal, I just... steal. That's amazing. <laughs> I've watched it far too many times. <laughs> I was excited for Tiz to get another point, and he didn't even know what, <laughs> what yeah, he was Yeah, I forgot on. what he said. <laughs> <laughs> the two oh, second yeah. rule it was said too long ago we can't remember <laughs> right 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 <laughs> okay so on your right is the second curtain question this one will be a little bit different what you will see when i drop the curtain is a, a three by three crafting grid with some items scattered on it okay you're supposed to figure out what those items are supposed to make and then correct the grid yes Okay. The only other yeah, thing you okay. need to know is don't step onto your pressure plate until you think you know it because I'll only give you about 10 seconds or so to fix it. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to drop the curtain and yes. Oh, right away. Ooh, what do you think you have there? Uh, I think it's a comparator. Uh huh. Maybe? So it goes like this. I am I am so impressed. I wasn't sure how people would do with uh, with uh, without using the book. So yes, that is correct. Is that right? Compared to that is 100% nice. correct. Tis for the win on that one. Yeah. The, one of the harder things about this uh, figuring out this thing out was finding ones that were uh, locked into their locations. Right, because there's some, yeah. some some difficult recipes that don't really matter, like stews and stuff. Okay, uh, going to the home stretch. Two more questions. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Tetris effect was believed to be a phenomenon where people viewed the world differently after playing the game Tetris for an excessive amount of time, but it was disproven in 1997. Jill. No, no, it was never disproved. That is correct. It is a real thing. Oh, wow. Apparently, that I, I was been... quite, I'm fairly certain that is actually still a thing. It is. It is a thing. Yeah, yeah. If you've ever, like, for example, you know, been walking down a street and it looked, you felt like you were going down, you know, a mining yes. tunnel. I, I may have done quite a lot of Tetris in my life. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was top of the leaderboard at boarding school. Oh, yep. very nice, very nice. What do, you, what, what do you think of all these records that are being broken lately? It's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you want the three back? Ah, I'll just hold it. on to it. We're we'll good. <laughs> oh, you want the three? You want the I'll three? Take the three, Jill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe when you get three, you can have the three. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last question. Uh, for Tiz, it'll be more of a pride question, whether or not he can <laughs> get the last one. Uh, plot is a chance to pull into the lead, and I don't have a tiebreaker, so we'll have to figure this out if we end up with a tie. <laughs> all right? All right? Th th this is why we practice this stuff, because I, I, I need to come up with tiebreakers. If you think Sloy's hidden books are cool this season with their scrambled text, in season three he used Unicode to scramble the author on books, attempting to create a secure TB currency called Dumb. <laughs> Yes, sir. You're gonna know this one. Uh, no, no, it wasn't called dumb. It was D U M M. Oh, okay. Yes. I think it was season. <laughs> oh, he did it in two seasons. I think it was season two. Um, well, that's wrong for two reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. He didn't scramble the author. He scrambled the title. You know, the funny thing is, when I first wrote this question, that was what I was going to change about it. But nope, I, what I wrote is correct. Also, okay. you didn't say no, no. Oh, I really didn't. Yes, Jill! Oh, yeah. No, no, the book, the words aren't scrambled in the hidden books this season. Uh, oh, they are. Have you not found any of them this season? I have. I may not have read them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, this is, I'm going to give the last chance because this is, this is going to decide the victory. Yeah, no, nope. no clue. Okay. Oh, no, something. no, it wasn't a You were thing? ready one, okay? <laughs> I tried, I tried. Okay. What was it again? 
Uh, no, no, it wasn't for a currency. It was for something else. It was for a currency. This okay. is I, I, this is very <laughs> Minecraft specific. It's not Unicode. It's the okay. formatting code that you use to make all that scrambling and uh, you, you know, like if you make your colors mm. or if you're gonna make it like uh, italics and whatnot, it's the formatting code. Ah, uh, okay. That's uh -huh. a little yep, specific but... on Minecraft, but okay. Well, Geo, congratulations! You pulled out a win. How do you? How? How do you feel about beating these two? Do you do you feel proud Ooh. or confused? I actually feel quite Ooh. mad about stealing Claude's answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know That's, that answer. That um, is but true. I feel bad. <laughs> that is true. If you hadn't have stole that one answer, you uh, he probably would have won today. Well, that's my fault for not saying that. I'm going to play myself. Well, this is, that's why this is a practice round. You know, whenever we do the real tournament, you'll know, you can remember to say no, no, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, for people at home, if you noticed any mistakes during our show, please feel free to correct us in the comments below. Uh, for now, uh, thank you uh, to our wonderful guest. We hope that you found today's show adequate. <laughs>